What if you could save a life and squeeze in some quality me time while doing it? Thousands of people are catching up on reading, work, and simply relaxing while donating plasma, a life-saving ingredient used in biological drugs that saves and improves lives. I think it's important to help out as much as you can to help people who need it. I've been donating for about a year. It feels great to be able to save someone's life, but, you know, help somebody. I've been a donor with BioLife for over 15 years. The best part of donating is knowing that you're helping others. You've probably heard about donating blood and may have done so yourself, but what about donating plasma? I was nervous when I first came in, but it was so much easier than I thought it would be, and I'm really glad I started doing it. Plasma comes from your blood and makes up a little more than half of your blood volume. It delivers water and vital nutrients to all the cells in the body. Plasma regenerates so quickly that donors can donate twice a week with just a day in between donations. In comparison, whole blood donations require a wait time of eight weeks to allow the cells to regenerate. Who benefits from plasma donations? Some of the more common recipients are people with hemophilia, immune deficiencies, emergency room patients, or burn victims. At BioLife Plasma Services, we'll follow Aaron, a first-time donor, through the donation process to see just how simple, painless, and safe donating plasma can be. I am donating because I had a nephew who needed to have a plasma treatment, and I wanted to help others by donating my plasma. Requirements for donating plasma are you must be 18 years old, be in good health, and weigh at least 110 pounds. The process of donating plasma is very safe. Uh, that is one of our main priorities here at BioLife, is to ensure donor safety, make sure that they are well enough health that they are able to donate. The whole purpose of the screening process is to determine donor eligibility. So we would examine any health conditions that the donor may have and answer any questions to make sure that we're having a safe donation. During the screening and donation process, donors can take advantage of the free supervised playroom for children. Erin checks in at the front desk to start the screening process. Next, she provides her identification information so she can be entered into the center's electronic system. She'll have her photo taken and her biometric registered for future identification. The medical historian will cross-check the NDDR system, the National Donor Deferral Registry, to make sure she is eligible to donate. Identification and medical information is confidential. Once in the center's system, donors can identify themselves biometrically and then enter their medical history online each time they donate. All donors must pass a pre-donation screening at every appointment. When you come in regularly, um, once you have done your first appointment, the screening process takes just a few minutes. It's really easy. The next thing we're going to do is called processing. The medical historian checks Aaron's hematocrit. That machine separates your red blood cells from your plasma. The hematocrit's going to be a ratio of the two, so the red blood cells to the plasma. Since this is Aaron's first time donating, a nurse will take down her initial medical history. Some of the questions we ask are, are you taking any prescription medications? Do you have allergies? Have you ever had any surgeries? We want to make sure that the plasma donation process is safe for the donor and also for the recipient of the final product. Aaron, like all donors, is compensated for her time. Donors receive compensation in the form of a debit card. This is your debit card. The nurse will also perform a physical exam. With Erin's donation eligibility confirmed, she's ready to donate plasma. The plasma donation process is similar to donating blood. The only difference being you've got all your blood cells back to you, so you're able to donate twice in a seven-day period. The safe and sterile process for donating plasma is called plasmapheresis. What's going to happen is your blood's going to go up through these tubes into the separation device. Your plasma will fall down this line into the collection container hanging from the machine. This reservoir will fill with your concentrated blood cells, and once it gets about three quarters of the way full, you'll get all that blood returned to you. The collection and reinfusion phases are automatically repeated until a target amount of plasma has been collected. The whole process usually takes less than an hour. It's very safe to donate. Every piece of equipment that we use here on the donors is disposable, so it's only their blood that's going in and out of everything that we use. We use sterile techniques too for the venipuncture. The process is safe with minimal, if any, side effects. Okay. Yes. 
donors are monitored throughout the donation process. The people here are friendly and they're very attentive to, to you, make sure that everything is going all right. They do a good job and they make sure, they check on you very often to make sure that you're comfortable. You want to make sure that you're well nourished and that you have eaten a good meal prior to donating plasma. You'll also want to make sure that you are well hydrated, particularly the day before your donation. Thank you for donating today. We'll see you back at your next donation. Sounds good, thank you. The last step in the process is checking out. New donors generally do become repeat donors. Uh, we want to ensure that they have the most pleasant experience that they can while donating the first time. All that's left to do is schedule the next appointment. Appointments can be made at the center or on the internet. Since plasma can be obtained only from healthy adults, it cannot be produced synthetically. Donations are important to replenish the supply of plasma. I would definitely come back and donate. The experience was great. The staff was friendly. I was able to use the Wi-Fi on my tablet. The seats are comfortable. It's easy, and you're helping someone. Plasma helps my son, who has immune deficiency, and others with health issues. I thank our donors every day for coming in. You can actually be saving somebody, uh, which is a very big thing. And you are helping to save lives, so it's definitely worth the time and effort to do it. You can find the nearest plasma center by going to www.biolifeplasma.com. You'll be helping to save or improve the quality of life for someone while taking some time out for yourself. Everyone benefits. <laughs>